data doubling with solid state drive using a CD drive bay in a MacBook Pro mid 2012 what you need solid state drive SSD drive caddy Phillips number no. zero screwdriver if not properly done you can destroy your Mac this is not a professional guide just sharing my experience perform this operation with utmost caution or ask an expert or take professional help don't forget to back up all your data place your Mac on a soft and secure surface there are seven small screws and three long screws remove them using the Phillips number no. zero screwdriver available at the Canadian tire for five dollars now remove all the ten screws once all the screws are removed gently lift the back cover once the back cover is opened disconnect the battery this is where you find the battery connector very gently disconnect the battery next you disconnect the Bluetooth Wi-Fi and serial ATA connectors by very gently lifting them use a plastic prying tool if necessary extra caution is a good idea before removing the CD drive we need to get access to the screws that hold them so we will remove these three screws first followed by the remaining three that holds the CD drive next we will unscrew the screws that hold the CD drive this is the first screw the second screw is over here the camera does not have a direct view and finally we will remove the third screw that is located here next we will remove the CD drive by gently prying with the plastic or nylon tool now we have to remove two pieces of hardware the serial ATA connector and the holding clamp gently pry it loose from the CD drive unscrew both the screws to release the clamp which will hold the drive bay in place on the Mac you will see a hard drive already installed in the caddy unfortunately the drive was defective it was a hybrid drive from Seagate so I replaced it with a 250 GB SSD from Samsung the 840 EVO next we will attach the clamp and the ATA connectors that we removed from the CD drive to this caddy now we will attach the SSD to the drive bay gently align it to the ATA connectors until it clicks in place fix the SSD to the caddy using the four screws that came with the caddy brought this caddy from Canada computers for $18 it is all plastic only problem I found was that the attaching screws which I removed from the CD drive were a little too short had to shave off a little plastic to make it fit now I will install the hard drive and caddy by gently sliding it into position then the three screws need to be put in place once the drive is in place attach the remaining screws as shown now reconnect the Bluetooth wireless and ATA cables by gently pushing it into position
Next you connect the battery. Make sure that before you close the Mac, both the wireless and the Bluetooth are working. I would suggest, that you add just two screws, when the back cover is put in place. Test to see, if all the connectors, and the drive is working, before you put the remaining screws. Now we will start the computer. Yes, it is starting up, everything looks good. Once you are logged in, you will see the pop-up menu, telling you that the disk you inserted, is not readable by the computer. You should select, initialize. Then you should partition, and format the disk, as you please. Since I have bootcamp installed, I wanted to share files between the Mac and the bootcamp. So I have partitioned the disk into two. One partition is Mac Extended Journaled. And the second one is partitioned as MS DOS FAT. Partitioning this way helps me share my Microsoft documents and media files between the two operating systems. Now, if you go into my computer through the Finder, you will find all the active hard drives on your computer. I was able to access the FAT partition both from Bootcamp and the Mac and it was writable, from both operating systems. However, I can only read files created on the Mac partition and it is not writable from bootcamp, that is, how it is supposed to be. Products that were used, and from where it was obtained. That's it for now. If you liked the video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.